Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have been looking for a mold like this for so long and then I finally found one and then I found one that kind of goes with it. Like it's kind of the same vibe. We're gonna make a Polaroid. And then I also found this on the same, like from the same shop. So this is like a photo booth, kind of like picture strip thing. I know, I'm so excited. So we're gonna be putting some real pictures in these molds and I'm thinking that these would make really cool keychains. If you're interested in making some Polaroids and like a photo booth strip of pictures with me, we continue watching. <laughs> So I finally found some of these molds, especially the Polaroid one, and it's from a shop called Shahala Supplies. When I found this, I was like, oh, oh my god, this is so cute, this is such a good idea, and I think, like I said at the beginning, this is gonna make a great keychain. So, I have a bunch of pictures that I, <laughs> that I printed out, and I tried to make them as small as possible, but we're still gonna have to cut them. So for the bigger, like, Polaroid one, I am gonna do this picture. So this is a picture of me and my brother and my sister, and this is when he graduated. This happened this year, a couple of months ago. Um, so I really love this picture because like, whenever you take jumping pictures, I feel like they always come out weird. Like somebody at least is touching the ground, like at least one person is. We're all just perfect. Like it looks perfect. So I really want this. I think this would be so cute. Has like a Polaroid keychain, and then I have a bunch of tiny little pictures from our road trip that I'm gonna try to cut down even smaller to fit in these little boxes. So before I get into anything else, I am gonna have to like trim these down to the right sizes for the Polaroid and then the little strip of pictures. So we're gonna do that first. Okay, everything's laminated, everything's trimmed, everything looks ready to go. So yeah, I was going through my pigments, and I really wanna do one of them just as white, with the white border like Polaroids normally do. So I think with the actual Polaroid one, I'm gonna do this pigment. It's a mica, and it's called Pearl Shimmer. It's from Counterculture DIY. I was kind of thinking of dusting this gold on the like strip one, so this is also a mica and it's called flaxen gold. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Cause one of them, I obviously want it to stay. Oh. Okay. That was really weird and bizarre. Who told you to do that? Don't answer that question. Wow, you completely changed frame and everything. That was really weird. We're not gonna talk about it. 
Anyway, would you guys kill me if I mixed in a little bit of glitter to the white one, to the Polaroid? Would you hate me for that? Because I know that everybody probably wants one to just look like a regular Polaroid. But I <laughs> have this glitter and it has like stars in it and it's still white, but it just has a little bit of something in it. I don't know, it's really hard for me to not mix glitter into like literally everything I do. So I, I just a little, just a little bit. I swear I will only put a little. And then this one, I'm gonna dust with gold. So I think I just decided with you guys, with your help. I'm actually probably gonna have to make this a three layer pour. I know that's like so excessive for something so small, but I wanna do a pour for just the um, framing part, the outline. I need to let that cure because I obviously don't want any white or any like pigment to go over the picture part. So I'm gonna pour right up to the line where the picture is gonna go. So I'm not gonna go beyond that. And then I'll come back, pour a clear, like a little bit of clear right over it and then put the picture in because that way the part where we dusted some pigments will be completely cured and the pigment won't be able to like travel and go in front of the picture or anything. So then we'll come back, do a clear coat, put the picture in, let that cure because if I don't, the picture will float. So I'm gonna have to let that cure and then do the last layer. We're gonna dust this first and then we'll mix up some resin and do our pores. Okay, so that's it for right now. I feel like I'm covered in resin. Um, but that is it for right now. We're gonna let that cure, and then we'll come back probably tomorrow and do a clear coat and put the pictures in, let that cure, and kind of go from there. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello and welcome to my sauna. It's very hot, so if I look sweaty, it's because I am. <laughs> it's really, really hot. Anyway, the first layers of our pictures are done and cured, so we're gonna go in with a clear coat right over this, and then we're gonna take our pictures turn them face down like this so that when we pop the whole thing out they'll be face front so i'm going to mix up some clear resin and then we're going to pour that on stick our pictures in and we'll go from there we'll probably have to let that cure as well and then go in it is so rude every time it does that and then we'll probably have to go in again the next day or maybe a few hours later and do the third layer to seal the whole deal in so yeah we're going to get started on mixing up some clear resin pour that into our pictures and then get our actual pictures in the molds and we'll go from there.
Okay, so I'm sorry about the outside sounds, but I did want to pop these out with you guys so that we can kind of see and freak out together as usual what these look like. I'm gonna show you guys first, so. Oh my God. Again, I am only looking at it through the viewfinder, so I have not looked at it myself, but it looks so. <sighs> so that's what it looks like. The glitter is so pretty. I love that it's white, but still has a little bit of glitter in it. The star glitter is perfect. Like the whole, the picture laid down perfectly. Everything is perfect. This is so cute. Oh, I love it so much. So I do think that, and I should have noticed this before, but I think that these molds can be used for shakers, making like little shaker things. Um, I have never done that before. I'm not prepared to do it right now. I hope that's okay. We're gonna pop out the next one, which I can't remember which side is up and which side is the bottom. Oh, it's so cute, what the heck? Oh my God, I love these so much. So there is like a really deep um, pocket, you know, because of the little like cubes that are really set in there. So I think I'm gonna fill these with resin. That way it'll give me time to go buy some jump rings to make the keychain because I I was trying to make jump rings with paper clips. <laughs> I mean, they weren't coming out too bad, right? I don't know, whatever, it's fine. Um, this will give me time to go find real jump rings. And then we can drill into these and make little keychains with them, but they're like, I'm I'm so excited. I'm gonna mix up some clear resin, fill these little pockets, and then we will probably have to let that cure for a bit, and then we'll come back. Hopefully I'll have jump rings by then, and then we'll be able to finish these as keychains. record button is sticky really yeah usually like when I get resin on my camera I'm like oh it'll cure and then it'll be fine yeah. but that my the button itself was sticky so that's great okay you guys we're finally at the stage where we're gonna make these into actual keychains I honestly went into this project thinking that it was gonna be just like three days like one and done kind of thing and it kind of took me the same amount of days that um, like a bigger project takes so I don't know how that happened but anyway I did run over to Michael's and I got a bunch of keychain things I got some like jump rings and these split rings and yeah the jump rings here and then the like keychain things which are actually kind of weird looking um they were the literal only keychain this is what they look like they're kind of weird uh but obviously they'll do the job they like kind of wait how does it work no it's this thing this thing unclasps uh, who cares who cares how this works we're gonna make keychains so what i am gonna have to do is drill into these pictures i'm probably gonna try to drill like right above my brother's head um like right at the border of like the framing and where it starts like the actual picture starts and then when i did this one i knew i wouldn't have enough space down here to drill a hole so that's why i put the pictures this way instead of how you know um picture strips look which is this way so that's why i did it this way so that we could drill up there at the top where there was way more space Looking at this one now though, I don't know why, I don't know why I didn't make this black with like glitter in it because this one we did white because Polaroids are normally white and these strip pictures are usually black, right? Like the borders of it are usually like a, a black or something. 
why i don't know i did start because when i noticed that i did start one in black so i'll try to show you guys this black one on instagram or something when i'm done with it i'm gonna pull out my drill that sounded dirty um i'm gonna i'm gonna pull the drill out no matter what I, how i word that it just sounds not right so i'm gonna get the drill and then we're gonna drill some holes into these pictures and then make them into keychains finally okay Oh my gosh, we're finally done. We're finally done. Like we're finally done. Look at these. They're so cute. We're finally done. I just, something this small taking this long baffles me. But anyway, this came out so adorable. Look how cute. I, I'm obsessed. I think that it's honestly the cutest thing ever. I can't wait to put this one on my keys. My plan is to give this one to Sean because it's got pictures of our road trip on it um, and I think that he would really like that. So that's what this one looks like. I, I just, I love it. I think that it's so adorable. I actually think these weird keychain things are really cool. This like snake chain that's on here. Um, and I just... <laughs> So here's some fabulous clips of these keychains being keychains. Take some finagling, you know. Finagled. Got it with my keys and my keychain. Wow. wow. Let's go inside. It's too hot. <laughs> what are you doing? Wow, a keychain. <laughs> Is he holding it in front of the camera? This looks like a thing, right? Like if I were giving you a car, you'd be like, Oh yeah. Here you go. Let's go. I almost, I almost <laughs> threw it out the door. Oh my keys. I don't know. Am I doing it? I guess, yeah. I mean, this is the most key related content I've ever seen. <laughs> I will leave a link to the shop where I got this mold from in the description if you guys want to check that out. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think of these keychains that took me like five days to make. <laughs> keychains! <laughs> I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. It is at artsymadwoman. I love you guys so freaking much and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye! <laughs>